Hello students, this is chapter number 20, Locomotion and Movement. And in this chapter, I'll be making two videos. This is the first one. So let's start. What is the difference between locomotion and movement? Are both the same things? No. Locomotion is moving away from the original position. When you move away from the original position, then it is considered as locomotion. You change the place from one place to another. But what is movement? Movement can happen with or without moving away from the uh, original position. Like if you wave your hands, that's not locomotion. That's just a movement. You close your eyelids. That's a movement. Locomotion is voluntary, but movement can be voluntary or involuntary, both. Locomotion takes place at the organism level. The whole organism moves from one place to another. It changes the place, but the movement takes place at the biological level, like movement of hand, I just now told you, and blinking of your eyes, eyelids. Locomotion doesn't, does not necessarily require energy, but yes, movement does require energy. Now, if you see the types of movement in human body, there can be three types of movement, amoeboid movement, ciliary movement, and muscular movement. Now, let's see each one of them separately. What is amoeboid movement? It is seen in macrophages and leukocytes. They exhibit amoeboid movement, means amoeba-like movement, in which it form, they form pseudopodia just like amoeba, and they engulf the substance. That is um, amoeboid movement. They form pseudopodia is formed, streaming of protoplasm, and microfilaments are also involved in it. Ciliary movement that occurs in the internal tubular organs where there is ciliated epithelium. There are cilia present over there, and it is a coordinated movement of the cilia in trachea that helps in removing the dust particle. Or you even see it in the ovi duct where the passage of ova through the uh, female reproductive duct is also facilitated by ciliary movement. Then the last one comes as muscular movement. Muscular movement, uh, the movement of limbs, jaw, tongue, that comes under muscular movement. Locomotion requires a perfect coordination, coordinated activity of the muscular skeletal and neural system. So these are the three systems together. When they are acting, then locomotion takes place. Now, in junior classes also, you must have studied the types of muscles. There are three types of muscles, cardiac muscle, skeletal muscle, and smooth muscle. So there are three types of muscle. Let us see each one of them separately. Skeletal muscle. Let's first take skeletal muscle, which is also known as voluntary muscles or straighted muscles. Now, these skeletal muscles are associated with the skeletal component. Uh, they are attached with the skeletal system and it has light and dark bands. It has striped appearance, which you can see over here also. There are light and dark bands, which is known as striations. And that's why you call it as striated muscles. These uh, activity of these muscles are under our control. So they are voluntary in nature. And so they are also known as voluntary muscles. They are primarily involved in locomotion or locomotory action and change in body posture. They are cylindrical in shape. They are uninucleated. Then let's come up to the next one that is smooth muscles. You can see over here the smooth muscles. Why they are known as smooth muscles? Because they do not have any striation. They do not have any striation. So, that's why it's known as smooth muscle. They appear to be smooth. And also you can see that they are spindle shaped, right? They are spindle shaped and uninucleated. Uh, where are they located? Visceral muscles, they're also known as visceral muscles. They are located in the inner walls of the hollow visceral organs. 
And these muscles are not under our control. They are involuntary. They are uh, under the control of nervous system. They are not under the control of nervous system. They are involuntary. They go on working on its own. Contraction and relaxation takes place on its own. They assist in transportation of food through the digestive tract. Then we come to cardiac muscle. These cardiac muscle, they are, uh, they have intercalated this as the name itself is suggesting cardiac muscle. The muscle is present in the, uh, it's present in the uh, wall of the heart. These muscles are faintly uh, straighted muscle. They are cylindrical, they are branched, they are uninucleated. And these muscles, as they are branched, they are connected by the means of intercalated disc to form a functional network. Now, the, uh, in the cardiac muscle, the action potential travels through all the cells connected together and thus it, it is forming a functional syncytium. That means the whole uh, muscle the, acts as one unit. So in this video, we have known about the difference between locomotion and movement and the different types of muscle. In the next video, we'll be studying about the skeletal muscle or straighted muscle, the structure of the straighted muscle. Thank you.